Hi everybody, this is Violet Charm and I'm here with August 2023 Sacred Space Crate um, quick unboxing. So I just gotta say, this box, no fault of the company, but stressed me out so bad because again, USPS, good old United States Postal Service. Um, said it was delivered two days ago and I look up and down and I get the scent you know to a different address from my home and I looked everywhere and it was just nowhere to be found I had to go on hold if you ever dealt with USPS and um, file a claim and that took a good like two three hours of my life um, to just put a claim in and get someone on the phone because it takes that long so um, that was very frustrating. I really wish that these boxes came via FedEx or UPS or even DHL. Anything but USPS. Anyway, so now that I got that out the way, I feel a little bit better. I'm just ecstatic that it came. Um, two people unboxed this already and um, I liked that it was going to contain um, a deck of cards. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy I got the box. All right, so here we go. So, of course, we always get, I love Sacred Space Crate. We always get a calendar, and this is the August. Looks like it's the element of water. So vibrant, I'm loving these colors. The purples and the teals happen to be my favorite colors. And in the back, they always have all of the zodiac signs and the retrograde. So that's there. So that's the calendar. Very pretty. The box smells really pretty too. Then we have the theme, which is the element of water. Did I say air? I meant water. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine things. Okay, so I'll put this to the side. We have a grimoire page, which is the element of water. Okay. And pretty tissue paper with a sticker that says purity purify, it says. My mind, heart, and body, and leave me healed. By sacred water so mode it be yes this is what I need I need to let the waters energy of the waters flow the negative energy of dealing with USPS away from me <laughs> okay let's open this up okay. Ooh, the first thing that's like peeking out at me is this little shell nice Cute little shell. All right. That over here. Then we have, they always include incense. I think this is what I smell, but I'll take a little sniff. Healing waters, incense sticks. And they painted the tips this really pretty um, color of the water, a blue with sparkle glitter on it, so that's really pretty. Oh, this smells so good. It's like it's a sweet but beachy kind of smell. This takes me straight to the ocean. I love it. They hit it right on the nail with this, so I will be burning those as soon as I can. Then we have to get some of these out. Looks like we have some salt, a bag of salt, the sacred salt, the ritual bath salts, Dead Sea salt, Epsom salt, Himalayan pink salt, lavender essential oils, chamomile flowers, rose petals, eucalyptus leaves, and la I mean, lavender, lavender flower. That's, oh, a lavender essential oil and then lavender flower. I thought I had said the word lavender twice. Okay, nice amount. I use this to um, for like a feet soak or foot soak you can do that or honestly if you need some of the salt you can actually sprinkle that around your 
water altars to use the salt for that. Why not? Along with the shell. Then we have, it looks like it's a velvet bag, a pouch. This is like a tarot or card pouch. Mainly that's what they use it for, but you can use it for anything you want. It has the little mermaid charm on it. So if you don't want to leave it on there, it's just stitched on like with one little stitch. You can remove it and put it on a chain. So it doubles as jewelry. It's really pretty. Okay, put that there. Then we have, looks like we're going to get some yummy tea in here. A small pouch. Is this upside down? No, the sticker's upside down. It says the sun and the moon. Balance of power ritual tea. Chemical orange peel. Hibiscus petals and fruit flavor. Okay. So that's the tea. Then we have some kind of oil. There is nothing in the oil, but it's um rose hip. Nice. Good amount of rose hip oil, cold pressed rose hip oil, cold pressed cojoba oil, geranium, I think that says essential oil. Can't read the fancy font. Fountain of youth. So this should be like a face serum or just for your skincare. These oils are usually pretty good and absorb quickly if you can see it because they're cold press I'm not sure if it's organic but ooh I like this especially if you got some sun you put this on your skin and it'll absorb right in give you that nice glow feels good looks like it's soaking in I'm not overly dry so I don't need very much all right it smells good just a very very light hint of the rose you can pick that up. Um, let's pull this out. Another little bottle. All right, and this is, let me show it to you first. There's nothing in it. Oh, this one little, oh, just a few little crystals in there. It might be, or it can't be fluoride because that's not good in liquid. So some kind of quartz or something in here. Um, it's Balance Personal Power with a Calm Mind Aura Spray. Lavender and Rose. Let me give it a quick smell. It smells just what, what it says. It is a nice um, light smell. So I like that. And then we'll, I'll use a big one for last, which is the oil of the pack. This is the herb that they do every month. I just love these little uh, jars. I love them so much. Um, I love that it has this dimple here for your finger. I just kind of really grab onto it. Love it. You can tilt it. This is eucalyptus. And it's a good amount of eucalyptus. All right. Let me smell it. I feel like I need to smell everything. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, what else? This is um, a stone. Love my stone. We, we love our stones, right? All right, so this is blue. Teal-y kind of blue organza bag. And inside we have this unusual stone or crystal. It's really an odd looking piece. I am not familiar with this, so whatever it is, it's my first. It's a nice little chunk, and it has like a, it almost looks like it was alive, like a fossil, and then it dried up into something, like it was an animal, but I'm sure it's not. So, it has ridges. I don't know if you can see all these little ridges. Not too close. All right, and it has these like nods, nodules, or like nodes, I don't know what to do. What to say about that okay i'll read about this it's interesting all right let's put this in here actually. okay 
Okay. Then we have it's a big, looks like it's a big pillow candle. And we I haven't gotten a huge candle like this from Sacred Space Freight. So this is great. This is really nice to have. So I can get it open with the tape. Okay. Ooh, this smells pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, almost smells like reminds me of gardenia or lilies or something. I'm not sure I could be wrong, but this is a seven day ritual candle. Healing waters. Big candle, nice. It's like the ones you can find in like in the botanicas. And it has it's been dressed inside or with some, looks like a little starfish and some quartz crystals inside and glitter with some shimmer there. It says, healing water is gift of the gods. Wash away illness and disease. Wash away pain and imbalance. Wash away worry and sadness. Cleanse and heal me. Purify my mind, heart, and body. And leave me healed by sacred water. So mote it be. This is so nice. I love it. And I love what it says. And I will definitely use this. Good to, you know, so when you're in the shower, you kind of save this as well. And then when you come out the shower, you're still in that mindset, burn your candle and do this incantation. This is so nice. Love it. So happy with that. Now, for the big reveal, there's nothing else in here. It's the deck of cards, which I don't have. And I have lots and lots of Oracle and Tarot deck. One day I, I keep saying I'm gonna organize them all, like archive them, and um, see how many I have. They, I think I, I must have at least 200 decks. Um, maybe I'll show you my collection one time, one of these days. All right, so this is the Rebecca Campbell, the artwork by Katie Louise. The Healing Waters Oracle, 44 card deck and guidebook. Very nice. And this box opens in a different way. This way. And what I've seen from other people, I think you can use the bottom to kind of hold your card, display them some way somehow. I will figure that out some other way. All right. So let me just quickly, because I just want to see what this looks like. We have the the book, the guidebook. It's a small guidebook, but it looks like it's chunky and it has a lot of stuff inside. Let's take a look at the index or the table of contents. Um, healing waters, reflection, folklore, and mythology. Uh, my journey with the healing water is water as the intelligence of life, creation, stories, other myths. Then the oracle, working with the healing waters the oracle. Like that. And then all the cards have a number from 66 to 152. All right, let's see. We have pictures in here of the cards. Does that include it? Maybe not. No, so there's no. Well, maybe. Let me get through. Oh, this, this tells you how to use the card, like the box to display the cards. One card spread, follow, so you can use, so it looks like you can use the box to do spreads. That's interesting, I'll have to read into that. There's more about it here. Alright, so this is different. Now the cards, oh yes, look, the cards do have little pictures. They're miniature, they're kind of like gray, white, and kind of this misty green color foam sea foam green so it's not full color just a hint of color on the ribbon on the bottom but it's nice I like I always like to have like the card picture even if it's black and white to reflect back so that's nice all right we'll be back there and then the actual cards they're matte not glossy I'll cleanse these later so they kind of look like this, kind of this like soft pastel watercolors. 
I usually don't do like soft anything. I like bright, bold, purple, colorful, you know, things that kind of stick out. But um, this is different for me and this is soothing. So this is what it kind of looks like. Oh, look at the little baby in the middle. It's like all cocooned in there. That's nice. I'll show you a couple of them. Yeah, so I will go through these at some point. All right, so that's kind of what the deck looks like. Let me put these back. This is a good box. I'm happy with this box. I'm just happy that it came. I was about to have like a, a conniption about it. And um, I'm glad I didn't have a meltdown about it. Yay. <laughs> All right, so what do we have in this box? We do have Heating Waters Oracle deck. The blue velvet mermaid tarot bag with the little mermaid charm. Um, seven day healing waters candle. I want to see what's in it. If it says that aquamarine fills us with elixir, like a scent, scented with bamboo fragrance oil. Okay, smell what it wasn't jasmine or um, gardenia or lily or anything like that. But this bamboo fragrance oil smells really pretty. It smells like a floral. And let me see in the back. I don't know what that stone was. Balance Ritual Bath Salts. Tells you how to prepare it. It has chamomile, lavender, uplifting energies of eucalyptus, rose petals, passion, beauty, personal power. I'm looking for, okay, the Aura Spray. It's made with Essence straight from lavender and rose petal, the eucalyptus in the glass herb jar. And the magical properties of that is banishing, cleansing, energy clearing, exorcism, healing addiction. You know, sometimes we might have to exercise some people out of our, our lives. It could be a relative. You never know. <laughs> and then we have, um, oh, it continues. You can also use it for healing sickness, increases physical energy, protection, purification, raising vibrations, reconciliation, spiritual growth, warding off evil. And then they give you some simple spells. So you can like burn the eucalyptus uh, and do some stuff with that. It's all um, there. I don't know if you can see that if you want to screenshot that. And then, oh, okay. The stone is called a chalcedony womb stone. That's what it's called. The chalcedony womb stone, if you can see that. Powerfully relaxing stones recently discovered in Morocco. These chalcedony nodules, oh, okay. They look like nodules, uh, little like nubs or something are becoming must-have stones for anyone wishing to enhance or maintain their fertility. Just to carry or keep, to keep near you, the comforting energy, I don't want to have any babies, so maybe I'll give that one to someone who needs it. Um, radiating from these nodules will foster a profound sense of calm, perfect for allowing the body to relax into its natural rhythms, dissolving anxiety and stress. That's good. Um, the mineral species is quartz. The crystal system is trigonal, birthstone, elemental birthstone of Cancer and Sagittarius. And the chakra alignment is crown, upper crown, third eye, and root. Crystal attributes, soothing, somewhat grounding, supreme nurture. Strengthens the connection between parent and child. Improves connection of the reproductive system and stimulates the libido. Um, balance of power ritual tea, the healing waters incense sticks. What's in that? It is with notes of sea minerals, watery greens, white water lily, and a light musk. Yeah, that smells really good. Burn these sticks in your sacred spaces to enhance the magic of healing. And then the last thing was the pure rose hip oil. And 100% pure jojoba oil and doTERRA, which is a famous brand. They're kind of pricey too. Uh, geranium essential oil. Geranium is pricey too. Making this oil a fountain of youth. I'm definitely using that. I apply this oil all over my body when I get out of the shower. 
and wear it very sparingly on my face in the evenings. That's what I want to do. Um, it has made a huge difference in how my skin looks and feels. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. All right. So this was the Element of Water Box from Sacred Space Cream. And I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. And I'm looking forward to see what the next box brings. All right. Take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye.